Hey, what's up, YouTube? Sorry, I'm part of Jesus here. I just want to throw my two cents in on uh, this whole U.S. is giving ammo to Syria. Are we already in an ammo crisis? Um, I mean, I guess I, I got no problem helping other people out and stuff when they're in need, but I mean, we need help here. We need help <laughs> getting back on our feet and getting our, our country stable and situated. <clears throat> I don't know. Basically, what I heard is is that uh, the U.S. government ordered another shipment of ammo, I guess, uh, or put in another order for ammo, and uh, this time it will be including a 22LR, uh, 7.62 by 39, uh, 410 gauge uh, shotgun shells. Uh, I don't remember uh, what my source was exactly, but I do remember hearing birdshot in there. I don't know why they would need birdshot, but uh, that was in there. I heard 12 gauge, um, 30 out six. So a few different calibers from uh, what the DHS had previously ordered, but uh, kind of popped open my ammo uh, trunk here today and realized I didn't have anything for 12 gauge. I probably had maybe a 13, 14, just birdshot rounds laying around. So I spent the day and I kind of stopped at a few shops and I picked up a case of birdshot just just to have around. I like to do the, the clay shooting on the weekend anyway so I don't know anyways but uh, a couple things I want to show you is a couple of the, the home defense or or slug uh, I guess deer hunting ammunition that could be used for home defense I found I thought they were pretty neat I ain't never come across them before the first one is for the uh, 410 I have seen these ones before but I never uh, I never picked up a pack I was gonna do a uh, video this weekend of testing them out and seeing how they shoot out my little double barrel coach gun. But what I have here is the uh, Winchester let me try and get the glare off of there Winchester PDX Defenders in a two and a half inch and I think I paid like twelve bucks. I just I got two packs, one to keep around and one to show you guys how they work and stuff so I'll be doing a video on that next weekend probably here um, they're actually pretty cool looking shells if I open up the pack here <coughs> Pretty crazy looking rounds are just all blacked out, even the even the brass is all black except for the primer. Uh, pretty cool. If you look right on top, that's one of the three discs uh, that they I guess there's uh, three plated defense disc projectiles. So I wouldn't even know if you'd necessarily call them a slug. I'd say they'd be more more like buckshot there, but so I picked up a pack of ten of those. And then uh, for the twelve gauge I found three different types here. I'll start with my least favorite of the three, I guess. They're all actually pretty cool. I shouldn't say my least favorite. I like them all, but I'll save my favorite for last. Um, basically, what I got here is a uh, Winchester uh, Gold Partition, or Partition Gold, sorry. Um, it's basically a hollow point, uh, so I have it slug. Uh, it's real high velocity. It's 725 uh, feet per second. Uh, these are pretty crazy looking rounds too. I'll pop one of these out of the pack here. Now these ones just come in five round packs, but uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but there's a pretty big hollow point. Uh, just a 12 gauge slug with a hollow point like that. Man, that'll do some damage. That'll put down whatever target you're shooting at. And next I have a uh, pack of the Winchester uh, dual bond. It's also a pretty cool uh, 12 gauge shotgun shell I've never seen before. As you can see it's um, read on there it's dual bonded jacketed. So that means it's double copper coated. Uh, I guess it holds up a little bit better and uh, it actually keeps the lead and uh, and the copper kind of fused together when it hits. Uh, keeps more more mass for uh, together for the impact, but uh, yeah, as you can see, that's 1,800 uh, feet per second. That's pretty, pretty fast 12 gauge round as well. And then my favorite that I bought today was the Winchester XP3. Basically, what this is is a high velocity Sabbath slug with the ballistics tip. And I'll pop one of these out of the cartridge here. I don't have very much experience with the ballistics tips. Um, 
I was actually shooting my cousin's uh, 17 a couple weeks ago, and uh, that was the first real time I did any kind of checking out on the ballistics tip after the impact. But I, I noticed they did do some pretty good damage, uh, and they stayed intact too. But uh, check this out. You see up in there, it's a pretty big ballistics tip. Now, if I'm correct, that ballistics tip, if it separates, that thing will keep going by itself, and then what what you're left with is a uh, basically a hollow points head slug. So you can see that doing some piercing uh, and some. Uh, it's mushrooming as well, but that one is uh, actually uh, the fastest round of the three boxes that I got, and that's at uh, 1,900 feet per second, which is just crazy. I've never seen that on a 12 gauge before. But anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just watching the news, and I I heard this whole ammo order is going into Syria, so I figured I better go out and fill up the few calibers that I, I have uh, firearms for that I don't have the ammunition for. I also picked up a few packs of the uh, Remington rifle uh, slugs for the 410 as well. I've never seen them before. I actually picked those up at Walmart and grabbed two boxes. Um, but yeah, I don't know if, if you guys are uh, short on any more calibers, grab them while you can, especially uh, the shotguns because no, I don't. I don't know if they're going to be on the shelf or if they're going to be the next thing, like the 22s. Oh, that's another thing that they ordered for Syria too is 22s. So I mean, uh, you know, keep grabbing that shit. And I know it's starting to come back on the shelf, but this is the good time to go grab it. And you know, before the panic starts, you know, be smart. Let's avoid this panic and let's get the ammo now while it's there before we give it all to Syria. All right, right on. Thanks for watching YouTube. It's Gunpowder Jesus. Check out my other videos, uh, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I appreciate all the views. Alright, I'll get at you guys later. Thanks for watching.